Lameness in the horse industry is a huge deal. It's the number one deal. Uh, it's the largest monetary expense that horse owners will incur. In the racing world, the cutting world, the venting world, dressage world, it doesn't matter. Lameness is the number one disease process affecting horses today. I think the lameness problem is a huge problem in the industry. I mean, it's one of the, the main reasons that people are you know, out for the, you know, the season. So I think it's a really big problem. I feel that lameness in the horse industry is a huge problem. The horses that we ride are major athletes for us. Asking them to run fast, turn fast, you know, a horse can't talk to you, so you don't know if they feel off that day, their knee hurts, their ankle hurts, you know, like we feel. It's something that we're always fighting. As a vet, equine vet, I deal with lameness all the time. Uh, every day, in fact, I see multiple horses coming into the clinic or out in the field. To feel whether they have a problem or not, the main thing that I do is just to lay off them you know, put them in a stall and just watch them for a while. If I feel like my horse is becoming lame, I pretty much size up the situation. How bad is it? How are they feeling? Is it something, do I lay them off for a couple days? Do I give them some kind of medicine to see if it makes it better or worse? And between all those elements, we'll decide whether we go to the vet or not. I know it's bad enough where I need to take them to the vet when it's persistent, they don't get better, uh, they get worse. So detecting lameness early allows us to get ahead of it. Um, allows us to keep other problems from happening and occurring. For instance, if you have a right fore lameness in the knee or the ankle, what not, if we get that treated soon enough, they're not going to compensate in the left fore. That's the biggest deal. A lot of horse owners are bringing in their horse late in the game, and so not only are they having a right fore injury or lameness or soundness issue, but now we've got a compensation injury. Really, it, it takes a keen eye, a keen sense of feeling, and a lot of testing to come up with a good, proper diagnosis. I thought to myself, maybe we could come up with an early detection type device. I decided that there was newer technology out there with sensors, with gyroscopes, accelerometers, various things that are involved in iPhone technology. So what I did was I strapped four iPhones onto a horse, trotted the horse, gathered all the data, compared each limb on a lame horse and on a sound horse, and saw patterns and saw that we have this technology, we can do it. Knew it couldn't be four iPhones, but that was the start of Limbit. I went ahead and decided that we needed a, a, a new device, something that was sweat proof, waterproof, and that led me to the Limbit. So simple, so easy to use. Use the Limbit in conjunction with an app on the iPhone, and you're golden. I think that Limbit could be a game changer. I think that it's, it's so sensitive, it's so easy to use, it syncs up with my cell phone. I'm really excited for a product like Limbit because it's giving me power in my own hands to kind of talk to my horse. This is going to tell me if he feels off when I don't really feel it. You know, sometimes you really want your horse to work and run and go, so you're not listening to the signs he's giving you. You're not paying attention to what he's trying to tell you where you end up hurting your horse later. So the way Limbit works, is we will take four of these sensors, four limb bits, put it on each leg of the horse, right around the ankle joint, get a baseline reading. So we have a pattern later on when, we, when we're trying that horse out with the limb bits, with our app, if he's lame, we're gonna see it. You know, I can put my whole barn on it, record what they're doing when they're normal, and then, you know, compare that to, you know, data that I get two weeks from now when maybe they're just starting to get lame where I don't feel it. Um, and I don't see it. So Limbit's incredibly easy to set up. Once you get your Limbit's, you're gonna go on the app, download the app, set up your account. Once you have your account set up, you're gonna sync your app to the Limbit. Put the Limbit's on each leg of your horse. They'll be labeled left fore, right fore, left hind, right hind. Once you've done that, you're gonna trot your horse the app will tell you what to do, you just read the app. It's all the instructions are gonna be on the app. One of the things that I think is cool or neat about the Limbit is it's pretty much idiot proof. And it's so simple to use, you know, just slip it in their, their boot and you don't even know it's there, they don't know it's there. Charge it up, turn it on, sync it with your phone, enter your horse in it and put it in there, use it a few times, find, you know, the baseline for your horse. Once your horse is trotted and you've got your baseline reading, then you're off and running. Then you can take Limbit on the road with you when you want to analyze your horse. 
when you think there's a problem, when you think that there's no problem at all. When you want to analyze performance data, when you want to look at its sleep habits, any of a number of things. You know, the neatest feature I think about um, Limbit is just, you know, it's ability to sync up with my cell phone and so I can put my data, I can record the data right onto my cell phone, I can be out in the you know, arena and, and have the information right away. I just want to really thank everybody that's helped me along the way with Limbit. We put a team of A players together, they're working all as hard as they can to get Limbit out to the horse owner. So with Limbit we're at 10 yards from the finish line, we're ready to be there. All we're needing is a financial partner to get us there, the hardest 10 yards. We've got a sales and marketing team in place, we've got design team in place, we're ready to reach our goal. So our financial partner will help us get that last 10 yards, completing the user interface, enacting our sales and marketing plan, and making our first production run. Those are the three keys that we have left. And I just want to thank everybody and thank you for our, your time today and your consideration and looking at Linda.